we want to welcome our first subject today, Fedarian Mathis from Alabama, and he'd like to open up with a couple of remarks. Uh, hey, how y'all doing? I just want to start off by shouting out my team, you know, those guys back at home, and that's it. <laughs> okay, we'll go to questions. Fedarian, over here to your left on the second row. Ryan Hennessy, NBC 13 in Birmingham. Uh, you talk about shouting out your team, your quarterback, Bryce Young, uh, a lot of you know, hype going into the season. What have you seen at him as a leadership and as skill-wise going into this year, replacing Mac Jones, a first-round draft pick? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, I'm very excited for uh, Bryce Young. He stepped up being a leader. Uh, he more vocal, vocal now, and um, I'm just very excited to see what he, he you know, does coming into fall camp. We'll move to your right here on the front row. How you doing? Good. It's Tyler Shaw with uh, KBTX and College Station. I was just curious your thoughts on Texas A&M. Do you see them, you know, this year as a, a legit contender in the SEC West? And, and how big w could that game be when you guys come to Kyle Field? Uh, you know, for us, you know, we how we do. We take one game at a time. Uh, you know, we're not even in the season yet to come in on those guys. So I can, I probably can give you more once we get there. So. You're about 50 days away from the start of the season. How's the team shaping up and the excitement there? Yeah, I'm very excited, man. I got, I got good hopes in this team. Uh, it's going to be a very good team. Everybody's coming along, man. The chemistry uh, is starting to get well. Everybody's buying in, doing their job. Um, no complaining. Uh, and I'm, I'm just ready to go in into my last fall count with a lot of great guys. How important is it to keep last year in the past and focus on this year? Uh, it's, it's, it's very important because, you know, that's, that's in the past and that's the last year team. Uh, it's a whole new squad and we got to, you know, build our own team chemistry and, and set our own goals and, you know, keep pushing. Okay, we have a question here to your left, second row. Got a question about one of your teammates. Uh, LeBron Ray has battled through his fair share of injuries. What is a guy like that capable of when he's healthy on the field? Uh, man, LeBron, he's very healthy. Uh, I'm excited that he's back. Uh, you know, I came in with LeBron Ray, and, and his confidence, I love it. Uh, he never gave up. Uh, he never cried about anything. He just kept pushing, man. And I hope great things happen for all of us, you know, this upcoming season. Back here on the right, in the front row. When you look at 2021, <clears throat> how uh, exciting is it? You know, could be more of a normal football season, playing in front of full stadiums again, as opposed to you know last year where you didn't have that. Uh, man, I know it's going to be lit this year. All the fans going to be back, you know, and we finna get that real, that real Bama standard, you know, from the fans also. So it's going to be very electric, you know, as I say. <laughs> To your left on the second row. I was picking up on that, but last year, without as many fans, and even going to the national championship with not as many fans, what was that like? And what, did you guys kind of miss the fans going into that push to the national championship? Oh uh, yeah, I mean, I, I feel like as the season went on, the fans started, you know, it started getting more like the crowd. It felt to me, it felt like the crowd was there more. And like I said, I'm just happy that they're going to be back especially about this being my last go around, so I get to experience it one more time. We're going to move to your right here on the second row. Yesterday, Coach Saban said that Bryce Young is close to making seven figures in NIL deals already. Does that change the kind of complexion in the locker room when some guys are, are cashing in like that so fast? Uh, yeah, no, if that's the case, uh, you know, we happy for him. You know, I just want to see everybody win at the end of the day. We'll go to your left here on the third row. Could you touch on LeBron Ray and what you're expecting from him this season on the field and from a leadership standpoint? Uh, you know, I'm just really expecting him to, um, to come back, just to be a leader that he's always been, and you know, just give it, give it his all, because you know, we ain't got that many more left. So I'm, I'm just ready for him to just be back out there on the field for real. We'll stay on the left, back on the fourth row. Uh, quick question, you guys, you know, didn't have a full off season last year, and yet you still won a national championship. How excited are you to see the potential of this team knowing you're going to have full, you had full spring and you're going to have full summer workouts to get ready for this season? Uh, I mean, I feel like it's just going to make us even better. Uh, you know, we just got to load up and keep pushing. 
uh, you know, last year was, you know, it's over. So it's a whole new year. So ain't nothing going to change about Bama. So we're going to continue to work. We'll go to your right in the second row. You're originally from Louisiana. You've got LSU coming back to Alabama to play you guys. Last time they were in y'all stadium, mm -hmm. things got a little wild. What do you expect from that game this year? Uh, you know, that's in the past, man. And like I said, it's a new team. Uh, and we got to do what we do best and, you know, handle business and, you know, take one team, you know, one at a time. Uh, you can't think about those guys until we get there. We have about five more minutes. Are there any more questions? Okay, we're going to stay here on the right, second row. There have been years in the past when it's Alabama and then everyone else, especially in the SEC, where it you know, hasn't been particularly close. Do you feel like over the last year or so, some of the other teams in the West have kind of closed the gap and made it a little more competitive uh, division, at least? Uh, uh, what would you say again? <laughs> You feel like the SEC West as a division is, is getting a little more competitive. There have been years in the past where it's Alabama, drop off, drop off, drop off than everyone else, but some of those other teams seem to be on the rise at least. Yeah, for me, I mean, every game, uh, you, it's always an adjustment for every game. Uh, you know, everybody, you know, when they play us, they give us give, give, um, give their best, and um, it's always a challenge, you know. So I wouldn't say everything is always easy. Uh, or nothing like that. I just say that, you know, we always got to adjust to everything that we do. So, we'll stay in the right side, front row. Is it any more challenging going into a season <clears throat> coming off a national championship where you know maybe you're afraid of guys getting complacent and just they expect to win? Yeah, you know, I think that's the very that's a very important thing, you know, to stay on guys about you know. The last what what last year team did, you know, this a whole new team, and you know, saying like, we we can't think about that, you know, cause we trying to get back to that point. I mean, we can use that as motivation, but you know, being cocky like we won, like we already won, you know, that's that's not gonna get get us nowhere. So, we'll go to your left here, second row. Hey, Fidari and Jacques Doucet, WAFB TV. You being a Louisiana native, I'm just curious. When you commit to Alabama, and you've obviously had a lot of success, do, do you hear negative things back home? Are more people supporting the Alabama Crimson Tide? Just what, what has that process been like for you over the last several years? Uh, it's been very good. You know, even when I did leave, you know, a lot of people probably was mad, but also my family was in my corner. You know, they, they stuck with me all the way, and that's the only thing that really matters. On the left side, third row. Hey there, uh, looking ahead to the Chick-fil-A kickoff, what excites you about playing a team like Miami and uh, just about that neutral territory in Atlanta? I mean, you guys have played there a decent amount of times. Oh uh, man, we know the, the environment gonna be electric and it's gonna be very fun. You know, I think those guys probably will have a great, great team and uh, I love the energy that Miami brings to the, to the college football atmosphere. One final question over here on your right, second row. Fedarian, I'm not sure if you know, but Nick Saban um, was chosen to be part of the Louisiana Sports Hall of Fame this past year. He'll be inducted actually in 2022 because of everything with the pandemic. What was, I guess, everyone on the football team reaction, him getting inducted into that Sports Hall of Fame back in Louisiana? Uh, that's lit. I mean, he's a legend, so I, want, I mean, I'm not surprised. And, I'm happy for Coach. Um, he deserved it. Fedarian, thank you very much. Good job. All right, thank you.